Hello, I'm Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and today we are going to unbox some $17 wigs from Amazon. I ordered three wigs, and here they are from Amazon, and I'm going to unbox and try them on and give you a review on how these wigs look. I want you to know this is not monetized. No one is sponsoring me to do this. I just want to do it for fun today to just make you ladies laugh. So let's just try this and let's just dive in and see what we've got. The first wig that I want to try on is this blonde wig. And I got blonde simply because this wig reminded me of Tina Turner, whom I think is wonderful. You know, she's an old lady, but she rocks that spiky hair. So let's try this one on and let's see what we've got. Now, this wig comes with a wig cap. It comes with, an, with a mesh wig cap, which I'm not going to try on today because... These wigs are most likely going to be donated to um, Thompson Cancer Center um, just because um, I wanted to do something, give back to the community a little bit. But I'm going to try this one on. We're going to look at this wig from inside and out, and we'll just see where it goes. Okay. This first wig has, you know, it's got the little tissue paper in it. And it's got the little black hairnet. Now, I've got to say, the little black hairnet and I do not get along very well sometimes. Um, and like right now, actually, it's stuck in the tag. Every time I get a wig and unbox it, I always have this trouble. And I like to save these little hairnets when I donate a wig because... You know, it just keeps the wig looking a little nicer. But this is wig number 0118A, and I'm going to give her a good shake. You know, and then we're just going to pop her on the head. No wig cap. Let me tuck my hair behind my ears. Pull my glasses off. Let's see what we've got. Now, when you're trying on a short wig, you want to, you know, grab the wig by the back. But let's look at the inside first. The inside construction is there's a lace cap, nice lace cap, and it's got the open mesh, so it's going to be a cooler wig. It's not going to be as hot on your head, and it's got the little elastic straps to adjust. Now, I'm not going to put these, the straps on. Um, I'm just going to pop this on my head one after one, and one after the other, and we'll just see where it goes from there. So, she looks like a little blonde Tribble from Star Trek, the trouble with Tribbles, doesn't she? A little bit. So, let's just shake her up. See what she's got. Okay. Now you want to make sure, those of you who haven't worn a wig before, you want to make certain that the little tabs on the side, right here on your temples, are even. They should be even. This wig, right from the start, I can tell you, this is a smaller wig. If you have a larger head, this wig may not fit you. I have a small head, and this wig actually fits me pretty good. Now, let me put my glasses on, see if I look like Tina Turner. Well, what a disappointment. I don't look like Tina Turner, but I don't think this wig is the worst thing in the world either. Now, when you put on a wig, you want to go back to your hairline with it. That's where the wig needs to sit. And with it having those teased bangs, it kind of you know, you can poof it out a little bit and you can make it kind of Tina Turner-ish. Um, I would wet this wig down a little bit to kind of redo the, the style just a bit. But all in all, for $17.99, not a bad wig at all. So, um, I would probably give this wig, simply because it's not a real expensive wig or anything, for what it is, I would give it a 6 out of 10. It's not a bad wig. It feels good. It actually feels rather like human hair. Um, it isn't. It's synthetic. So, here I am in all my blonde splendor. Doggone it, I don't look at all like Tina Turner. Let's pop this one off. And let's go try the next one on. The next one is a wig by Lady, Lady Miranda. And... I have never, I'm not familiar with this wig company, but we're going to try it on and see. This one is blonde and gray, and I wanted to, you know, just kind of see what I look like with gray hair. I tried it on, I, I tried growing my hair out uh, the other the other day, and um, it just wasn't something that I really liked. It was horrible. 
So this one always also comes with a wig cap. Color is not, not bad. This one looks like it might be rooted. Um, I can't remember. I think this one might be rooted because there's two or three different colors in this wig. So that gives it a little more natural look. So let's give her a good shake. Look at her. Well, we should have looked at her before I gave her a good shake because we're gonna have to shake her again. But she is constructed the same way. She's got the lace cap. She's got the mesh, open mesh. So she'll be nice and cool on your head. She's got the adjustable straps. The teased bangs, which is a, a nice little feature. So let's just see what she looks like once we pop her on her head. Now I have to immediately put my glasses on or I cannot see anything except a gray and blonde blur. So here we go. Let's see, where's my hairline? There it is, okay. So tucking my hair in, Trying to anyway, and trying to see what I'm doing, and I'm getting wig hair in my eyes. Um, this wig, um, I, the color isn't bad. Color isn't bad for me. I don't know that I would actually um, wear this style because it's a different type of style. This is kind of like a deconstructed bob. Um, you know, if you get your wig brush out, you can kind of poof it up, play with it a little bit. Not horrible. You know, definitely it's going to make a difference if I have on a wig cap. But it's kind of a cool little wig for $17.99. I don't think you can beat it. Uh, I would give this wig probably, I like the other wig just a little bit better. I would maybe give this a 5 out of 10. Uh, not a bad wig. This wig fits a little bit differently. This is a little bit bigger wig than the other wig. So if you have a larger head, this wig would probably fit you better than the other wig. So um, yeah, not a bad wig. Okay, on to the on to the last one, and this is the one that I have been the most excited about, and this is a platinum wig. Platinum. I have never had platinum hair. So I am anxious to see what I would look like with platinum hair. So let's open this thing up and let's look at it and see what we got. Now this one also comes with a mesh cap. They're all pretty much the same. Um, I'm telling you, these little black hair nets are, <laughs> they're awful. I don't know, I don't know about these things. They get tangled up in the wig, they stick, they just wanna hang on like, I don't know. What? They're on, they're on my wig brush. They're everywhere. So let's try this. Let's try this one and see what this looks like. Again, we're going to take the hair. Here we go. Now, I, I'm, I'm thinking that this one is probably meant to be worn kind of as a pixie. That's the vibe I'm getting from this wig. Um, and let me get my glasses on. Oh my. I look a little like Andy Warhol, but for some odd reason, I actually like this wig. I think this wig might have a little bit of potential. And one thing I think would help this wig, and I put this scarf around my neck just for this very reason, because I, when I tried on this wig, I wanted to see if I could update the wig just a bit by tying a scarf around it. Now, the scarf will help secure the wig on your head. And you can just kind of pop that on there and spike it out. And there you go. This wig is constructed exactly like the other wigs. It has a lace cap. It's a little larger wig, so it's going to fit your head. It's going to fit, ladies, if you have a larger head. And I would definitely, I would wear this wig. I have always been curious as to what I would look like with platinum hair. And this way I can see I can have platinum hair and I don't have to damage my own hair by stripping all the color off of it and then going platinum. I can be platinum if I want to. You know, there's a lot of reasons why a lady would wear a wig. It might be because you have alopecia. It may be due to chemo. It may be due to 
you know, fun, you may just want a wig. I would wear a wig just simply for fun. To me, a wig is nothing but a fashion accessory. I don't know what the struggle is to have a, a hair problems, you know, like hair loss or chemo. I don't know what that struggle is. I do have, my hair is a lot thinner since I went through menopause, and that's what got me in search for a wig. Because I just wanted to have fun, and I wanted to do something with my hair other than just have it red all the time. So I started this search for a wig, and I actually am going to do another video of me with my four crazy wigs that I actually have. This wig I am probably going to keep because I kind of like this, and I think that I can actually rock this platinum wig with the right accessories and the right look. If you would like to just change one little thing in your life, look a little different for the day, or just have fun, for $17, you really can't beat it. You will get $17 worth of fun out of a wig. And you know what? If you don't like it, take it off. Take it off. And you're back to normal. Well, maybe not normal for me, but you would be back to normal. I hope you've enjoyed my wig unboxing. Hope you have a great day. This is the Ninja Life Coach. God bless. Maranatha.